Hi everyone, it's Denise Reed and welcome back to my channel, Bramble Reed. So this week I wanted to make a Christmas wreath form and I'm going to be using the tree branches that I cut off of our fern Christmas tree. For the best creative DIY and fashion content, subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit that bell to be notified when I upload a post every Tuesday. I have a Facebook page that is dedicated to DIY crafts and fashion that you're able to join. You can check out the link in the description box. This week, we're going to be looking and dressing up our Christmas wreath form. Now, last year I created this form, and what I did was I took a wooden dowel, I think it's called, and I submerged it in water for about five to six weeks. When, once um, I took it out, I bent it to the form that I wanted, and then I just cut this piece of wood and put a screw here. So I created these pieces here so that I'm able to add it to my arch and so what you want to first do is just clip off all your your branch twigs some of these are already dying I did leave it a little bit too long and I think I told you guys what this one was called it's I believe it's the Scots pine so you want to create it and then all you want to do is you want to add pieces so that you make it nice and thick all the way around your branch. Now, if you have a piece where it's sticking out, don't put it at the top so that it will stick out. Put it behind so that it's able to lay flat. And just keep doing that. You can leave a space in between here if you want to put a bow or bells or something and then add your additional pieces. But I am going to add the fern along with this one. Instead of doing what I was gonna do and tie this jute, I took the jute wire and I'm just gonna push it in. And let me just fix this up. Stay tuned to see how I made the reef bow with wired ribbon that I made.
Now that you know how to make the Christmas wreath form out of the Christmas tree branches, I have written a guide on different designing platforms that will help you take your creative juices out of your head and put on a digital platform. I have included a list of tutorials that will help you understand these platforms better. You can download the guide at the link in the description box. Also, are you interested in joining a group of creative minds like yourself? I do have that Facebook page that you're able to upload different DIY crafts and projects. You can check out the link in the description box. Check out any of my paper mache tutorials next or my Christmas playlist that I'll leave a link in the description box. If you like this video, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe and share the video with your friends and family. Thank you. Take care and thanks for watching.